Welcome back to the special edition of Houston Life. I'm Derek Shore along with Tessa Barrera. We're spending the day at one of the most imaginative places around Texas. It's the Texas Renaissance Festival, complete with the food, the clothes, a wild cast of characters. Everyone's ready to entertain you every weekend now through November 26th. There is always something going on here. And if you're looking for a unique festival souvenir, look no further than the shops at the Ren Fest. That's S H O P P E. Yes, in keeping with the theme. Hey, they like to shop in medieval times, okay? <laughs> they did do the shopping. Someone else who likes to shop, our own Mel Camp. So we sent her off on a shopping adventure here at Renfest, and you know Mel made more than a few friends along the way. When you first come to Renfest, you'll see there is so much fun to be had here. So where do you start? How about this? Let's go shopping! Now, keep in mind, this is not your regular kind of shopping, but you'll surely find... Everything for your foul, adventurous needs. <laughs> and you are bound to meet some characters along the way. Welcome to Studio Decide. Window shopping, Renfest style. You could literally come to Renfest in shorts and a t-shirt and leave completely decked out in medieval garb. From dresses to shoes and hats, jewellery, swords and armour, and then throw in a few cute gifts and knickknacks while you're at it. Ariel, fine sir, please tell us about this wondrous oh, trading post you my have here. lady, of course, it would be a sincerest honour to tell you about the Taquani trading post here at the Texas Renaissance Festival, booth 224. We are a brand new establishment. This is only our second year in making. Uh, but this shop set out with two goals in mind. One, to remind people how colorful the past was. And two, to let people know that, uh, yeah, it's a Renaissance Festival, but stuff was still happening in the Americas, you know? So uh, why not celebrate some of that art as well? Each store is a unique and beautiful reflection of the artisans who run them. And regulars to the fair have their favorites. For Squirrel, it's Chainmail Fashions. They make the best boot bells in fair. Randolph Markham has been at the helm for 47 years. Here he is. Hello, love. The one, the only. This year is his last. Yes. How did you get into this? Um, after Vietnam, I was pretty broken. And I discovered the Society for Creative Anachronisms as a way to work through my issues. It turns out that putting on a metal suit and trying to beat your best friend to death with a wooden sword is very <laughs> therapeutic. I had seen the guys at the side of the field with their lap trays and their bucket of rings watching the tournaments and making chain mail. And when I had a chance to start a business at a Renaissance fair, I figured I'd try that. i have been making plate armor. So I went that direction and listened to people and made what they wanted. And it's been very, very good to me. So I'm ordering three more sets because, you know, stocking up. Thank you so stocking much. Stocking up. And while you're stocking up on garb and gifts, you can add to your bag all the special connections that you'll make along the way.